When a power pole and transformer came crashing down on Scott Harris's boat, the wires were pulled down for about 100 yards and Harris was trapped in the truck, fearing he'd be electrocuted if he touched anything. But as intended, the power went off immediately and the only damage was to the boat itself. It caused about $35,000 worth of damage. It was about 10 this morning that Harris was towing the boat down Mallard Lakes Court on Merritt Island, as he frequently does. But this time, the boat caught the wires overhead and dragged down the pole. Some folks here say the pole looks pretty rotten at the base, and it's just been getting weaker and weaker. If you look at the pole, it's rotten at the bottom, and the guide wires uh, were not attached to the ground. But a Florida Power and Light foreman said the pole was okay, and it took a great deal of force to drag it down. The company brought in a new pole and gently lifted the broken pole and transformer off the boat. We have a newborn infant a couple doors down and some elderly people at the end of the street, so I'm uh, very happy that uh, it fell on the boat rather than on them. My husband's alive and safe and sound, and I'm happy. Power was out to the whole neighborhood, but has been restored. The highway patrol did not issue a citation to the driver. On Merritt Island, Dan Billow, West 2 News.